Hello and welcome to Fabric of Reality, which is a space roguelike I'm really excited to show off here on the channel. I took a small look at it first, and it just looks like a blast, so I think you guys will enjoy it quite a bit. You automatically shoot as these kind of cards go across the screen, and you try to get new cards with better abilities. At the start here, just gonna work with my one little basic shot, see how well I can manage. Well, trying to avoid getting hit by all these little green guys here. The game does get quite hectic. Like, that little hit I took there is nothing compared to what's coming. There are a lot, a lot of spooky enemies here. Let's press Q, and we get to level up getting our first new card. Let's take a look. One of the things I really like about this game is that you actually get to see not only a preview of what the attack is going to do, but also you have these sliders which show the damage from blue to red, from weak to strong. As it goes out, it will do different damage depending on when it hits the enemy, and then knockback. In this example, the closer they are, the further back they get knocked. And the pierce rating up here is great, so it's a pretty good one to go for. That's an option, but we can look at our other options as well. So shoot out, blast into four different directions. We got knockback view, high knockback on the initial shot, weaker as it expands. However, the damage is strongest when closest to the initial explosion spot. Kind of a clever idea. And then the last one here, the amount of damage matters quite a lot as well, because this one goes anywhere from 80 to 180 damage, whereas this one only has 40 to 45. So there's not a lot of range here, so it doesn't really matter when it hits them as much. But the damage is lower, and the extra amount of pierce on this is kind of more tempting, so we'll go for this one. Get to swap it out. I know this is kind of an overwhelming screen to look at initially, but we just want to take one of these basic shots and swap it out with a new shot. An interesting aspect here as well is once every four shots a new card is used, so realistically it's going to be like 20 shots and then my new ability will be used. However, I'll get a new card every time I level up, so eventually I should be able to stack into a lot of shots that are kind of unique. Right now it's mostly just going to be this attack for a moment. Okay, we're leveling up though, so let's get our new card. We've got a couple new cards available. Interesting, it goes the opposite direction of where my cursor is facing. Gets strongest when it comes back around. I do like it, back hook we'll go for, and switch you out. And then we should have one more new card, so press right back into it again, another back hook. We've got this one, what is this? Pinch, high damage when it's at its peak, when it's pinching, that's actually pretty clever. I think I'd wanna go with pinch here, seems kind of different. Switch out, and now we got three new attacks, excellent. So we start running away and we should a lot more often be seeing things besides the basic bullet come out. But the problem is that whichever direction I'm aiming, one of my bullets, the back hook, is not gonna go that way. So <laughs> that makes it a little bit tough, but it's all right. Yeah, I almost feel like weapons that go opposite of where you're aiming are usually not probably that great, but let's do that. So back hook can be useful. It has really, really good pierce, but uh, it's kind of difficult to make it work. Level up. Okay, we've got two cards available to us. This square is interesting because it's a lot slower moving. It goes in the direction I'm pointing, and the damage is pretty decent, as well as the knockback, actually. So that's probably the one to win. I don't really like that one. Rounder. Uh, damage isn't that great. Let's go with this square. So here's the deal. We will switch out the new bullet with our square. Every certain amount of waves, you get access to another bullet type. Then we've also got this one. So this guy can be leveled up. As you do more damage with an individual weapon, it gets unlocks. So if I unlock either effect or modifier. Modifiers modify the attack pattern. Effects change the way that they impact enemies. So we'll go for an effect. What does this got? Make enemies delicate, increasing the amount your bullets knock them back. That's actually pretty good. And it's on this weapon. What is this one again? Oh, it's a wiggle weapon. I actually kind of like that. Fair enough. And then this one will just be discarded. This, this basic shot. Okay, on we go. And we have another card available. So... I like that Ghost Bullet hits both sides, and I don't really like either of the other ones, so I guess we'll go with Ghost. But is there something that I want to switch out from? Oh, Back Hook. Yeah, I don't really love Back Hook so far, so we will swap you over. Oh, wait. Back Hook. There we go. Back Hook will be recycled into armor, though. So when you give something up, you end up using it to enhance your stats to some extent, which is pretty cool. And that enhancement is a lot better, depending on the rarity of cards. Yep, change it to armor. Okay, so we get a little bit more armor because we decided to give up one of our cards that was better than the Basic Shot. Basic Shot's don't give you anything, but every other card will enhance the character's powers when you sacrifice them. And now we can just aim backwards. We don't got to worry about the back hook not being super strong and so on. Let's get our new card, and we have unlocked a new rarity. Rarities are really interesting in this game so far. We're going to look at this one. So this is Vlast. Very bad pierce rating, kind of like Spark, just a little bit better. Damage is iffy, but knockback is huge. Might keep me safe. We'll grab it, even though it's not necessarily my favorite. Ooh, what's... What's this upgrade? What are you again? Oh, this is Pinch. Okay. So Pinch is going to get me an upgrade. Probably keep going effects. I feel like effects are good. This one's also a delicate impact. Kind of like that, though. And then what do I want to switch out? Oh, right. We got to a new wave, so we can switch out just the basic shot. Excellent. 
And you can see my power level here going up. Power level seems to be like a rough estimate of how strong I am. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but it is impacted by getting new cards and getting more rarer cards. Get out of that screen. Keep battling here. Okay, yeah, some of these enemies are a little unique. Some of them will stop in midair or whatever, stop in place and kind of redirect and try to chase after me. Careful, careful. Ooh, we got a, we got a blaster enemy as well. Let's see if I can get a solid shot here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Rips right through him. Okay. Ah, this guy's on my tail. <laughs> okay, gotta narrowly avoid some of these guys because, oh boy, they're quick. Boss wave, boss wave. So hopefully I've collected enough damage to be decent against these guys. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Stop that this instant. Yeah, we got kind of a saw blade enemy here, I guess. Woo. They're shooting out their own projectiles as well. Yeah, it's not too difficult of a boss, except for that their health is really heavy. Their health is massive. Oh my goodness. I almost feel like it's better to reset. Yeah, let's just try to reset. We'll go into them and... Well, you know, I got decent damage on them there. Okay, um, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I might actually be able to beat this. Crap. It seemed like I wasn't doing anything at first. Oh no. I, I risked it. I risked it all. Okay. Can I still win? Can I still win after that? Oh, come on, please. Up, up, up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you just might have a shot at this. Thank you. Bosses only become harder from here, especially if you're not playing on the practice mode game mode. Yeah, I'm not. Oh boy. I pretty much lost all my HP there, though. I didn't think I could possibly win. Okay, let's get our new cards. What do we got? I guess I'll get this one since it's rare. What's your damage looking like? It's okay damage. Let's grab it. Switch out some of these basic shots, and we got quite a few upgrades here. Modifier on this one? Ah, uh, sure. Let's see what it is. Bullets are bigger. Well, that works for me. Confuses enemies. Okay. And then this one uh, modifier. Bullets deal more damage. Very nice. We'll get back out there, although I don't know if there's a way for me to recover any HP here. I hope that there is. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, wait. No, it is recovering over time. Okay. We're good. We're good. These uh, these lasers are a little bit rough. Oh, my gosh. My health is low. Evade. Evade. Ultimate is charged up. Oh, that's what this is. Okay. That symbol. Wish I could find the creator of the lasers. Oh, I can. And get rid of them. Yeah. Nice. And most of our health has come back, so I... I've survived from my mistake there. Whew. Ooh, yes. Okay, we've got... I think this is a, like a unique or a special. And there's like up to legendary. So yellow is the best, but this one's still definitely up there. A quick note. Bullets can only split after a certain amount of collisions. Really? Some attacks work this way. Keep that in mind. Okay, that's actually interesting. We'll swap with the new... And what about you? What do you want? Probably an effect. Weakens enemies. That'll work. Carefully fight these bosses. Ah, the little mini bosses. Ooh, okay, there you go. Ooh, what's this guy? Oh, that's that's a big one. Yeah, some of these enemies are getting bigger and bigger, which is a little bit nerve-wracking. Not sure if they're getting stronger. Some of them are stronger, like these guys. These guys have a lot of health. And they're shooting out all the projectiles as well. I, I'm not sure how robust the upgrade system is just yet, as this is only a demo. But I'll be excited to see what it is after I've lost. Nah, I'll never lose. I'm wondering, though, once I max out on the amount of shots I can have, how strong of attacks I can go for. Because once every fourth attack is a strong attack, that's going to be a really good thing instead of having all these little basic weak attacks coming out all the time. A yeah, new one of these. Probably good to go for that. Oh, wow. Okay. I like it. Bullets only split up to cloudy one times, though. Huh. Deal more damage or enemies delicate. Let's go for effect. Oh, it's level two. Oh, wait, upgrade effect. Okay, so the point does that. I should have I should upgraded damage probably, but that's okay. I was thinking it was a reroll, but we got reroll over here. So the upgrades are here. Back in the blue, back in the clear in terms of my health. Ooh, careful. <laughs> a lot of enemies around though. Got to get a lot stronger here or else I'm doomed. We got this guy following me pretty close there. Oh boy. That was short-lived to be in the blue. <laughs> oh, wait, is there a boss coming in a second here? Let's get some of these guys down that are following me. Get some extra points before the boss comes in. All right. Boss wave it is. Slowly heal. All right. What in the world kind of boss is this supposed to be? Right, come on, boss. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's a snake. They're trying to... Oh, they're trying to circle me, but it kind of works in my favor for them to do that. I get a lot of hits out on them. I don't know. I might be doomed on this one. Might be the end of the line for me. But it seemed like the last boss was kind of deceptive on their health as well. So that's okay. Let's go alongside them and shoot a lot. If they can really circle around me a lot like that, then some of my shots are really going to do well. Come on, just narrowly try to avoid some of this nonsense. Okay, back off. Back back in. Okay, ouch. Oh, my health is low, but there's this as well. Come on. Can I finish it out or am I doomed? Yes, okay, I got him down. Very, very nice. Get my health back. <laughs> Don't let these guys finish me off, although they are very persistent. Very, very fast. I do wonder if enemies ever get so fast that you kind of almost have to lose unless you have certain upgrades because it is a roguelike so there should be some upgrades that are going to help a great deal with lasting longer 
which I'll probably find out about here in just a second if I'm not real careful. But if I can survive a little longer, I wonder if some of these enemies that I'm fighting will end up getting too strong for me to realistically fight, because that's kind of a part of roguelike. I mean, technically, with this one, since it is very much, like, all about your own movement, you can probably get pretty far. I wonder how far that is, though. Even if you were really, really good. Could you could you last all the way through? I certainly can't. I mean, I, I got pretty far. Okay, so I got a ton of money there, right? Gold from kills, 57. So my total gold now is 82. Let's go to tech tree. It costs 10 to unlock the tech tree. And then I can choose among these. Unlocks the common card, 8 wave. Game mode Ezrever. The pierce mod- Oh, pierce modifier is interesting. What are these things? Okay, so it's just game modes for the most part right now, I think. We'll unlock some of these so we can kind of get a look at them. 10% of knockback is directed away from the player instead of the bullet. I never even thought about that, but yeah, if they are hit by a bullet going in a circle around me, that, that wouldn't knock them away from me exactly. Battle Royale is a game mode. I want to see that. Chance of finding a fourth card and level up. Ooh, one bronze game mode border is required. I don't know what that's going to mean for me, but let's, uh, let's look in game modes here. Battle Royale, all basic enemies become other players with unique names and colors. Watch out for hackers. Your bullets travel backwards in time. The unalterable basic shot cards in your deck are removed fire rate and card leveling is massively reduced. Wow, that seems tough. Okay. I kind of want to look at Battle Royale. Okay, so they all get their own names. <laughs> oh gosh, it is difficult to take these guys down. They've got a lot of HP. At least they're not shooting back at me, to be fair. <laughs> oh, Okay. Oh, that means pinch is like never gonna happen. So this is a very bizarre way to play this. Maybe I need to be a little bit closer to them because I know Pierce has like an end to it. Come on, Pierce. Oh, what? Oh, wait, being near the edge kills you. Oh, shoot. You can have multiple. Wait, did I have no filler on while I was doing Battle Royale? Is that what happened there? Deselect all. Okay, so Battle Royale, your bullets travel backwards in time. Let's try that. I don't think I want no filler though. I think that's why my uh, characters seem to be shooting really slowly. Yeah, I should be shooting way faster, way faster. Bullets Let's travel backwards in time. Oh, interesting. So they go from the end of their cycle back to the beginning. This weapon seems okay for it. I think the pierce would be great against these enemies. I'll just go around them and come back to it just because the pierce on this is nuts. There, see that? Wow. Another square, come on. Boom, look at that. That's crazy. Okay, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Give me that. I leave behind a kind of super shot. Okay, we got this one now, though. Boss one. See if I can take him down this time. It's gonna be kind of difficult, to be honest. Ooh, yeah, leave behind that trail. Okay. Gosh, their health seems so much bigger than it is. I feel like as soon as you get through, like, a decent chunk of it, then they really start losing health a lot faster. But at first, it seems like they don't lose any health at all. The ultimate is ready. Press E. Oh, no. Come into this. Come into this. My ultimate. No. It was wasted on you. Wasted. Now I know how the ultimate works, at least. I think I'm going to beat them here, but it is always tough with these bosses. I feel like I've got to get really close, like, down to the wire. Maybe I'll just lose, though. Maybe I'll just lose. Oh, my goodness. Wait. There it is. There it is. Okay. Woo. Okay, we got a rare. Oh, it's kind of a weird one. Oh, it's going to pull them in so, so intently to me. I'd have to use it when they're right by me. I don't know if that's even good in this case. It sucks. Wiggle shot might honestly be better, but let's go with it because it's rare. Just in case I'm wrong about this one. I don't love being chased by myself like that. Oh my goodness, some of these guys are so fast. They just stay to so tightly close to me. Oh gosh, yeah, that attack does exactly the thing I wished it wouldn't. It sends them right into my back. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. Ooh, that was close. There it is. Okay, they're gone. But I am, oh, I am not doing great right now. Please survive, please survive. Just a little longer. I need to get my health back. Oh crap, that guy's faster than me and they travel right into me. Okay, dodge. goodness. I'm so doomed. They're faster than me and they want to get right on top of me. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Honestly though, I'm kind of glad that the roguelike aspect of this game isn't just like a stat boost. It's got a lot more to it and I'm pretty impressed by that. But with that said, I'll leave this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, even a comment to let me know as it does help with the channel a great deal and I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.